here from Really Maria. Welcome to my little haberdashery. And today, through popular demand, I'm going to show you how to make a trendy mask. And this is the mask that you're going to make. As you can see, it fits beautifully on the face, goes around the back of the head and under the chin. And here's my little friend, Oscar. As you can see, Oscar's got, he's also been oriental. Again, it's around the back. The back of the head here, you can knot it, make it as tight as you like. Adjust it with your elastic. See, Oscar's a star, isn't he? <laughs> and how do we get started? We need to select our fabric first. The best fabric to use is 100% cotton because you need it to be breathable. You don't want to be suffocating with these masks on now, do you? Even though you need to be protected, we need to breathe. So 100% cotton. One of the best cottons to use is the cotton poplin. It's a tightly woven cotton um, and it's, it's light. So that's the front of my mask. And then the back, of, oh, we've got a visitor. Thanks, Abbas. <laughs> we've got our visitor again. And for the back, again, I've used 100% cotton. This isn't cotton poplin. This is just normal, <laughs> normal <laughs> cotton. Thank you. This is normal cotton. <laughs> normal cotton, slightly heavier weight which helps to hold and give the mask some, some weight, some stability. And then you need your quarter of an inch elastic. And if you look over here, I've got my beautiful poplin fabrics. Love my fabrics. And, and um, I've got a brilliant selection in my shop. So if you're in South East London or you want to go on my website, it's all there. Using the template that's on my website, you cut out two pieces of fabric for the front like that and then two for the back the front pieces are just over a quarter of an inch shorter at the side there and i'll explain why you need it to be like so take your two pieces pin them together this is the front and the same with the back and then with your sewing machine, just sew all the way along the front here. So that's, that's going to be the area in front of your face, over your nose. And the same with the other side. I'm going to do that and we'll come back next and show you what happens. Right, when you've finished sewing them, open them up. Then you place the front part of the mask with the right sides facing the back of the mask and then here you get your points there to meet and fold your seams over so they're on either side so you haven't got a lot of bulk they just neatly sit next to each other like that and then take one of these clips which are also available from my shop and hello hold it together like that turn it round I'm going to put a little pin here as well and the same on the other side you literally you just want to sew them together and there you have it right, take your pieces over to the machine start quarter of an inch from the edge start sewing go along take your pin out I know you can leave your pin in but I like to take them out because knowing me I'll end up breaking my needle carry on and then as you come to the middle there stop one more stop there pivot bring it round and then carry on sewing straight down take your pin out 
go to the end. I want to do the same on the other side. Bring the fabric that's underneath so it lines up and it's right up close for your nose, for your face. When you've got that, you'll find that you might find that the front of the fabric comes up a little bit more, but don't worry. Start sewing. So it's a quarter of an inch from the front of the fabric there. Carry on straight, going straight. And they're in the middle, the two points, the seams are meeting. Carry on straight. There you've sewn your two pieces together. Well, you finish sewing along the top there and then along the bottom there. You can take off any excess fabric. I'm just going to turn it inside out. When you finish turning it inside out, You can see you've got your shape already there, your little mask. Now just open it fully out, then we're going to take it over to the machine and we're going to sew along the side to keep it in place and give it a lovely finish. So let's go over. Take your mask to the machine, place it underneath and you'll see you've got this area here which doesn't have any any fabric over it and that's going to be for your channel put your foot down and we're going to start sewing about an eighth of an inch along the side there just gently pulling and getting it all nice and flat keep going along up there in the middle, pivot, bring it round, put your foot down, carry on sewing. You should take a bit more time than I am, you could even pin it so that it's all nice and flat. And you get to the end. I mean, I've done hundreds of these, so I don't worry too much about pins again. Get it all nice and flat. We're going to go along the bottom about an eighth of an inch. So long. Right to the end. I'm trying to avoid showing too much of any of the fabric that's underneath. line there. Now we're going to do the little channel channel and that's the area that you're going to put your elastic through. So with the black fabric here bring it over just over a quarter of an inch and over again and the reason why I've not got the other fabric that's on top and I've cut it shorter is because I didn't want too much bulk. You want that to sit, sit nicely um, on your face so it's not bulging out. You don't want too much bulky fabric. Bring it over to your machine again. Go forwards. Then back again so you catch it. And keep sewing along to the end. So you've done one side. And then you do exactly the same on the other. Fold it over. And again. Have a look, make sure they look about the same. Yep. Again. Start a little bit further down. Go forwards. Back again. And forwards so you're catching your threads. Carry on to the end. Then go back. Forwards. And there you go. That's all the sewing done now. When you finish sewing, just take your little snip snippers 
or your scissors and cut off all those loose threads and then I'll show you how to put your elastic in. You need to cut a, about 80 centimeters of quarter of an inch elastic, pass it through a yarn needle or a safety pin. I just happen to like these plastic needles. They're, um, they're a good thickness and go through the, the channel really well. So take your, your elastic Go start from the other end. Take your elastic, pass your needle through. And it's great having this because you can adjust it and um, make it tighter. You're not sewing the elastic down as I've seen in so many masks. When you've done that, then you can just knot the end and I happen to like having the elastic going around the back of my head. I'm not comfortable with the elastic rubbing behind my ear. There you are. You have your little mask. You can, if you wanted, you could just have a piece of elastic that goes through there and you could knot it so it does just go behind your ears if you wanted to. But when you pull it, It fits on beautifully, as you can see there. Right, so that is, that's how to make your mask and how simple was that? Next time I'm going to show you how to fussy cut your masks. You're going to love this video and it's my special technique as well that nobody else has done. So come and watch me next time for part two of making masks and I will be showing you how to make fussy cutting masks so that'll be part two thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and like and go to reallymaria.com bye <laughs>